peeper, 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 peeper. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that Jamaica has confirmed its second case of the COVID-19. We are speaking about the coronavirus. And people, this is said to be a person that is also coming from UK. We are talking about Europe. That was on the same plane that the person that was confirmed of the first confirmed coronavirus in Jamaica. So people, we are speaking about two persons that were on the same plane. So therefore, the possibilities and the probabilities are that there are more persons on that plane that is also in Jamaica, that is also going to be showing signs or symptoms of this virus. Now, people, we heard the Minister of Health, Christopher Tufton, announced and he said that the persons in Jamaica are people in Jamaica are not supposed to panic because they can have this thing under control. And um, people, when he made that announcement, the people in a Jamaica justifiably so did the opposite because we saw that in the supermarket, everything we are talking about rubbing alcohol, we are talking about bleach, we are talking about lyosol, we are talking about bacterial soap, we are talking about masks. Everything is gone, not not dead, and not not dead in a stock in the supermarket. Nowhere in Jamaica, we are speaking about lines about ten city block every supermarket in a Jamaica and people. That is an exaggeration. However, the lines are very long. Now, after the government of Jamaica and more specifically the health ministry made this big news conference and big announcement and asked persons in Jamaica not to panic and not to basically this the person that came into Jamaica with this virus. They basically said that they want to make sure that they respected these persons' privacy. Now, people, there is a picture that is out and of course, you know, being the top blogger that I am, I have that picture. However, because of respect to this family, I will not show these persons' face. However, I am going to show you that I do have the picture because people like you see, we have the receipts, we have the evidence. So people, this is the picture right here and you see the person's face are blacked out. Now I am speaking about the person that was supposed to be the confirmed, the first confirmed case that this girl went to a final send off for a family. She came from UK, we are speaking about on March fourth and she was basically in quarantine on the 9th of march 2020 so people here are the facts now people like i said once the ministry made this announcement and asked persons not to panic that is exactly what they did they did the polar opposite now people this video is basically to differentiate we are speaking about facts from fiction and make you see exactly what is going on out there we are talking about on social media we are speaking about in real life so people there are about five voice notes that are out there that i have i want you to listen to these voice notes and then i want you to take it with a grain of salt and then i'll give you the facts so people listen to the voice note and then you can make sense out of nonsense you can basically draw your own conclusion and then let me know what you think in the comment section voice note number one cara you remember when we go up the road and me this stop and you see your husband cross the road i would see alter henry right there so one doctor office there there no up there the woman go to the doctor and the doctor said, my treat her for cold and flu. The doctor now have coronavirus. My love, the doctor locked down in place and run gone. The man go over and give him coronavirus. The whole of the yard, me say, don't have seven miles. Me say, don't have CETA. You know, don't have CETA. Don't have a big yard. They may say, don't. They may say, everybody in the yard have it. They may call and I say, no help visit and nobody no come look, come look for them. Everybody in the yard have it. And the police, them come and stand up. We across the road and tell them, say, they don't have to come out. Back up. <laughs> Back up, we don't come out. out. Don't come out. Stay right where they not even shop them for go. Them said Joe and God must come come talk to them. But me yes say soldier now take it over now today. In the morning yeah, as me speak. I um Vern just called me and tell me say soldier down there and some big truck down there where they might take them out one one and I isolate them. She said she don't know which part they might carry them, but they might take them out now and I will give them treatment. Now people like me say this is social media that was voice note number one take everything with a grain of salt and believe half of what you hear and disbelieve half of what you hear and what you see on social media
people that was voice note number one this is voice note number two take a listen take a look and then i'll give my piece guys good morning i never normally follow these things but i have to share these things with you because my everybody know majority of my family is in bulby and i know almost everybody out of this family that has it has the virus right now the entire bull be in chaos and also yellow center man. people that was voice note number two take it with a grain of salt like i said before believe what you want to believe believe what makes sense i have to understand that as it pertains to social media people everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame so if them feel like them can put out a voice note and get some sort of attention however in some cases it is truth it is fact people i don't know everybody have to draw them own conclusion voice note number three colleagues colleagues good night please pay very keen attention to this message i am just coming from seven miles bull bay with the pnp mp for this area this man in the health minister told us that it was between saint thomas and saint andrew he did not state where but i am telling you now personally that it is at seven miles bull bay just a little outside of harbour view that young miss came from england for a funeral she went to the funeral and the funeral was packed i was told now we come from farney then our community i go walk on hug and greet everybody she went to a doctor in eight miles bull bay that doctor is now at the hospital because he is feeling sick they live in a big house nice big house with a lot of family members those family members have been going to work one of the ladies out there show us and her status that she put up that her throat feels sore and she a cough and she does feel like that because she not get over her grandmother yet now come on the children them from the house went to school today she had a son there that day and she had the son in her hand and persons were saying that when she was was at the funeral she was sweating like pig so you know it's at the stage where it's easily contagious for anybody in and around now the people them from the house who have to go to work today them take bus bus them take them take bus go work those people at work have no idea for the one who is coughing you know a serious case that already it starts spread the children them take bus those children have a classroom of about 40 children them go each one of them go home to a home on a different transportation most of those transportation full of children where I come from school or driver pick up and it, it is spreading wider than and one of the lady when the mp call the lady who live up at the house she said it's because they never want the excitement so obviously they know because the lady was showing the symptoms and they know that she had the virus but because they never want the excitement then play hush hush and right now it's just a while ago when me i leave one health ministry van come just one normal van no suit up nothing for quarantine the area like nothing or nothing like that so right now everybody up there walking up and down fretting the supermarket lock i go for buy wipes and some stuff a while ago i could get to my shop me i forgot for buy a pack of wipes and something for putting at the vehicle them so we can stay healthy me i tell you no colleagues please take precautionary measures there are i know of three children just next door and I'm, I'm serious about this three children just next door those houses just a stone throw away from where that lady live that attend calabar i'm serious one in grade one and one in grade three or two they attend calabar so i'm telling your colleagues we have to take this for the seriousness that it is that lady is out there everybody out there are fret now because everybody hug her up everybody greet her she was at the funeral 
she a ball and people hug her up. All of them people they gonna work from from the foot till now. All of them children they gonna school from the foot till now. The health minister lie, cause the health minister tell we say the area them send help people from the health ministry go gone out there from morning from the moment them find out and the van just a reach out there. And the van will come out there and have no equipment for lock down the area and make sure say, there is no further spread. So the PNP is going to keep a press conference tomorrow to update the public on some matters that are hiding from us, from the government. Colleagues, we have to protect ourselves, we have to keep ourselves healthy. I'm telling you this is first on information. I hear it from the people who are complaining right now out of Seven Mile Bull Bay, Shop Lock. Everybody there in our local corner, mass everybody, mass up. And the van out there and them do not, not, not place no lockdown, everybody I move about normal same. So I'm wondering when the van gone now, everybody gone back at work tomorrow and those children gone back at school tomorrow. So I'm just saying this to tell you that I have the information, I'm giving it to you as I get it. Let us protect ourselves and keep stay healthy. So people that was voice note number three, the longest of the five. Like me said, people, we have some persons on social media that have something to say about everything that is basically buzzing on social media. And this person's voice sounds like a voice that I've heard from some of those rumors and propagandas before on social media. I am not saying, I am not verifying, I am not validating with 100% surety, but just as say pick sense out of nonsense so that was voice note number three this is voice note number four yeah she come down for her funeral me here and almost people from canada america in the yard me as a poly um soldier must have screened them off today and i take them where i bring them somewhere to so isolate them because it has spread in the yard and be a people are have it and them can't go back to the country them where they come from till them clear up yeah so that me here People like you hear, she says she hears, so that means that she don't know. And we know say here say it can go a court. So people, you hear she talking some stuff and she's saying that these persons cannot go back to their country. I don't know about that. Is she talking facts? Is she talking fiction? People, you decide. That was voice note number four. Voice note number five. Alright, the last picture there at the funeral picture that is in the blue. Yeah, man. As far as me, you see, she have everything in her brother. So, you see who she lay upon, who she lay upon, yeah. You know it where it is, so. Those are people at the funeral. That is the funeral. Now, people, that was voice note number five. And like I told you, there is a picture that is out there on paper. More than likely, this picture is true. However, like I said before, because of privacy issue, because I understand how Jamaicans can panic, if I put this picture out there, people are basically going to diss this person and it is going to be unjustified, point blank and period. So therefore, I won't. I will do the responsible thing and don't put that picture out there. So people, we are speaking about what is going around on social media. So now, let's get to the facts. Fox number one, it is true, Jamaica confirmed its second case of the COVID-19. We are speaking about the coronavirus. And this person is a non-Jamaican coming from UK on the same flight as the first person that was confirmed. Number one. Fox number two, Jamaica is thinking about a travel restriction going to the UK. We are talking about Europe and people. We saw that America basically banned all sorts of flight and cruises from Europe. We are talking about all over Europe. That is number two. Number three. This is the second case, as I said, and there are five tests. We are speaking about COVID-19 tests. We are speaking about coronavirus tests that are outstanding, and they are awaiting the results, and the results are supposed to come in today. So we are talking about number three. Number four. The government of Jamaica, and more specifically, we are speaking about the health ministry, they are 
saying that a community containment is the second phase or the next phase. So people, we know that the virus is here. So now they are doing their due diligence and making sure that they contain. We are speaking about in the community where the first finding or the first virus was found. So people, we are talking about number four. Facts number five, the government of Jamaica are asking the residents, the citizens of Jamaica to basically avoid public gathering. We are talking about stadium, we are talking about dance hall, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. Facts number six, the government of Jamaica is also thinking about closing schools. We are talking about public school. We are speaking about basic school, we are talking about primary school, we are talking about prep school, we are talking about junior high, we are talking about high school, everybody and their mother. Facts number seven or eight, we are speaking about Issa Boys and Girls School Championship 2020. It is cancelled. It is not going to keep because of all of the gathering. They are trying to avoid any sort of public gathering, point blank and period. Facts number nine or eight, the parents of students we are speaking about at Yalas Primary School, we are talking about in Abul Bay, we are talking about St. Thomas. They are removing their children from school because they don't want their children to get this virus. Facts number 10, the World Health Organization. It has upgraded the virus from an epidemic to a pandemic. Therefore, we are speaking about it is all over the world. We are speaking about in excess of 100 plus countries basically have this virus. So people, it is getting worse a point blank and period. So people, like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.